Happy Monday on the last Monday before the solstice, before the longest night, when it all gets light again. I hope you're well and I hope your pre-festivities are going well and you're not stressed out to the max. What I wanted to talk about today was safety, cultivating a sense of safety both in our internal space, so how we feel within ourselves, uh, so that it can be reflected in our relationships and also in our finances. I had the shock of my life last week, it was quite a tough week for a lot of people, uh, I think the moon was in Scorpio and literally everyone I know was going through a tough one last week. One where it looks like there's a problem that's arisen and then when you look into it more it's a bigger problem than you realise it is and you don't know how it got into such a big mess but there it is, it's in a mess and you need divine help, you need help to sort it out. And I ended up with all of my income streams being cut off one way or another which was quite terrifying just before Christmas. Um, and I realized that as I'm such a powerful being, I have created this in order to be able to clear something very deep around lack. And you know, this manifests in me being able to be in my truth in relationships and fearing being in my truth because of abandonment or um, rejection. Um, and therefore learning to be honest has been really, really important uh, with myself first and foremost, and then with others. And the more I'm doing that, the less sticky, icky moments there are, and the more that I am being able to joyfully express myself in my truth, which is quite a different paradigm to the average love and relationship paradigm, and I'll talk about that more in the new year. But um, also my finances, well, I had to get real. I had to get down to the ground. I had to deal with my terror. I had to uh, use the tools that I've work been working with uh, Susanna to, to embed in my consciousness, and I've also been teaching others through uh, the Fearless, Empowered and Free to Be Me workshops uh, and webinars. Um, and I just worked it, used my tools, used every tool I had that I knew was relevant at the time, felt my emotions around it, transmuted those emotions into pure love and light. And uh, the moment that I did that, I realized that the message the universe was giving me, and it was quite direct, was you need to feel safe first, and then all of the things that you want in your life will come to you. They'll come to you as a constant flow. But the moment that you're looking to have certain things in your life, whether that's lots of money in your bank account or a ring on your finger or whatever's important to you in order for you to feel safe, it will never change things. Because you may get those things, you may have them on the outside, but if the feeling of safety is not on the inside, they won't make you feel any different. So change the internal feeling by asking for help to change it and then see your outer world mirror that reality. As it happens, Friday morning was when I got real with myself and Friday evening, I was at the wonderful yoga rave that Kat Duval had organized in Brighton. And we just had the most phenomenal night with cacao. Like the cacao, everyone wanted to buy it. It was amazing. Cacao Diva's been with me all weekend. And you know, she came into my life. Rosy Glow was formed from my first cacao ceremony because Rosy Glow is all about going into the darkness and finding the light. And that is my mission. So. My offering to you is go into your darkness. There is light there. Embrace everything you find, even the things you want to judge yourself for, even the things that you feel are not acceptable feelings. And remind me, I'm going to be talking about anger in the next couple of days. As we come up to Christmas, I'm going to be aiming to put a little video out every two days to keep you on focus and centered and balanced. So the next one will be about anger and suppressed anger and how to let it out. Have a beautiful, beautiful day till then, a beautiful week. And uh, if you can make it to yoga tonight, please do. Thanks to everyone who came to the Christmas party and to the ceremony in Brighton, uh, sorry, in Croydon yesterday. It was amazing. Have a lovely week. Lots of love. Oh, and the mantra, I have to remind you. I love my life. It's great being me. Just when I think life can't get any better, it does. Try it out. Repeat it. It's wonderful. It works.